Hey y'all everyone. This is a really exciting day for me. Um, <laughs> the something just really fun has happened. I have my first, like, partnership today. Uh, and, and, and it just arrived and I'm so excited about it. I've been like sitting and waiting for this for days now ever since they reached out to me. Um, and I'm so excited to do this video for you all. So, I, I'm not gonna waste any time. I literally just picked this up. So let's just let's just do it. Let's just get started. I'm gonna try to open this up as best I can. It's very tightly packaged. Very secure. Wow. This is yeah. This is very secure. Holy hell. So as you can tell, this is from the absolutely awesome people over at Artex. Artex wants me to try out their sketching pencils and one of their acrylic marker sets. I've used a lot of acrylic markers. I, I love working with them. And I've actually, like, I've tried Pascas, I've tried Pandero's own ones, but I've been wanting to get Artix like markers for so long, but I just haven't been able to that these are incredibly affordable markers it, This is this is a wonderful box. I Will say ooh wow Did I open it upside down? No, I didn't <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna remember to tag them uh, and put their socials in the description So these are the markers and you get these little stickers to put on the back so you can tell what marker it is and then these stickers to put on the sides for the same reason so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that and probably speed through the process of me putting these on because i don't know how fun it will be to sit and watch me put uh marker tabs or stickers on the markers for like 15 minutes <laughs> Putting all of these marker tabs on took a long while. I think it took me up to like 15 or 30 minutes in total. Much longer than I anticipated it to take, but it is worth it in the end to just have them all labeled. Even though I do think that it's not as necessary as it can be with other markers. Other markers, you don't have the caps being the same color all the time or the, you don't have it on the back. But on these markers, you have the same color on both the cap and on the bottom of the marker. So it's very easy to tell which marker is which and what you are using. And I think that really highlights how easy these are. Uh, so it is meticulous work putting all the stickers on. I kind of liked it, but it was, it was worth it in the end, uh, ultimately, just to have them all labeled. It feels nicer that way. And trying them out, uh, they were very juicy in the beginning. They cover really nicely, they're very opaque. So they just, they laid down super nice. And I really like that. Just feeling how they kind of just went down on the page. Super nice. They don't really tear up the page much, a little bit sometimes, but it also depends on what kind of paper you're using. The paper that I'm using maybe isn't the best for these type of markers but it still worked really, really well. So it's not the marker's fault, it's the papers, ultimately. Once again, swatching kind of felt like it took ages, but I am glad that I did it because some of the markers don't exactly match the cap. I chose this set, the B, the box B set, I think it is. Uh, for it seemed that it had a lot of colors that I liked and it did it still did I still really really like the colors that came with this I thought some of them would be a bit darker than they actually were But even so they all complement each other really nicely So you can still do a lot with them and especially if you use them with other materials They complement those materials as well and having this kind of like reference point with the swatches to go back to as I was drawing later on really helped because then I wouldn't just have to go by the color of the cap or the bottom of the marker. I could actually look at the previous page and reference which marker I was using, even if I didn't number the swatches, at least there was that. 
And then I tested out each pencil individually. I mean, they're sketching pencils. They're not, there's not a lot to say about that, really. I did find them very nice to use, very nice and smooth. They, on the box, they said that they had like very hard lead for, like it wouldn't break. And I, I, did, I did like it in smooth lay down, it says as well, which yeah. It did, it did lay down very smoothly. It's artist grade lead, so it probably, you know, go, holds up for a very long time. Uh, lead is, you know, what we call it, but it's actually graphite. It's not actual lead, thankfully enough. So you don't have to worry about that if you worry about the fact that it's called lead. It's graphite. Don't you worry. But generally, I'm not a, like pencil artist person i don't do a lot of art utilizing just pencils but i still really like these pencils they because of how smoothly they went down i found myself enjoying them a lot more than i thought i would uh mainly the smoother leads usually i use a lot of harder leads for sketching and stuff like that because i don't like when it smudges and i still don't like smudging very much but when doing more like grayscale work and actually sketching with them the harder or the smoother leads help a lot for the shading and to be able to just put it all down there it feels much nicer to have that and i'm kind of talking about it in the video but i this is a voiceover because i muted the video so i could speed it up but here you see me sketching with said pencils and i use the f pencil for the uh, sketch Part, or like the base sketch and then I use the harder leads more on the between 3b up to 8b is what I used for the shading or for like the work on the actual little character here that I was drawing you can see there how I'm uh <laughs> it's my hand covers a lot because my camera setup isn't fantastic I'm working on it but this is all I have for now but just putting it down and layering with the other ones, being able to use the pencil harder and then lighter to be able to get that variation in shades real was really nice and it was really fun. And the smooth lead really helped with that a lot. I genuinely didn't think that I would enjoy these as much as I did, and I found myself really with that when I just kept on sketching with them later on as well. I just kind of didn't stop. So I did quite a few sketches of the this one character, this one little guy that I was putting on this page. So this one here is my favorite. I just really like the perspective of it. and. Once again, the, the pencils really lended themselves to being able to make the effect that I wanted, which is the hole in the back feeling like it's glowing. So they they help with that. They I didn't have to use a, any smudging tool to be able to get that effect, which I've, I found with a lot of other pencils that I've used in the past, like you have to use those kinds of things. It is also a texture thing if you want it to be smoother, but I like the textures of these pencils. My camera fell in this moment, <laughs> as you could tell. Um, but I, I feel like I didn't have to use a smudging tool to still be able to get that effect. And I had that nice texture from the pencil still. And it lended itself to becoming a really cool drawing and a really nice sketch. Thank you. 
So all in all, as somebody who doesn't do pencil sketching and this kind of art, I really liked it and I will be continuing to use these because they, they felt nice, they felt good to use. I did have to use a tissue to avoid rubbing my hand in it because I was stupid and I didn't work from upper left to lower right, which is uh, generally what, if you don't want to smudge it, do that use like work your way from the upper left corner of the page down to the bottom right but i still really liked it i liked how it turned out it was great uh i continued to use these pencils as well for the um drawing of trying out the markers just to see how they would work sketching with them uh and then laying down the marker the acrylic marker on top of it The marker went down and covered the pencil really nicely, so you didn't have to worry about uh, sketch lines showing up underneath. And this, these markers, they're really fun to draw with, and they are a bit of a readjustment. I've been getting more and more used to using uh, um, alcohol markers, because that's something that I've always been wanting to try and learn how to use, and these ones are used very differently, since you can work from dark to light, and you can layer them so you can get different effects, uh, but it's also, you don't have the same possibilities in blending, so you have to kind of learn what kind of shading style or drawing style works for you for these specific markers. But learning that is just part of the fun. And it's really nice that I could lay down a middle tone and then put on the highlights and then the shadows. I felt like that really helped with figuring out how I wanted the drawing to look and how I wanted this character to look. So I liked that way of shading and drawing quite a bit. You can tell with the light green here that it really does look like it is running out of ink, because it is. And that is not the marker's fault. I drew this later in the week than when I got the markers, and I'd been using the markers on my own free time between that to kind of figure out how I liked them and how I wanted to use them, stuff like that. Um, and I, I just used that green a lot because I really liked that color of green, that kind of sage green. I liked it, so it was, it just ended up being used and I ran out of ink in it. But this character has a green jacket, so I had to use it still. And it still worked. It was fine. A little bit streaky, maybe, but with the shading on top, I don't feel like you notice way too much. Now, these markers, I would have liked them personally if the brush was a little bit harder or like it was a bit more stiff. So, because line art is something that I tend to do and these markers lend themselves a lot to making more lineless art and working with your shading. But I wanted some kind of line art. So I tried using the sketching pencils for line art and it worked super nice. Like the markers and the pencil worked really nice together to layer the pencil on top. And it really lended itself to a kind of smoother, more stylized line art than what I usually do. And I, I just generally liked it. Using these two materials together was fantastic. It was a really good choice. I really, really liked it. And I got a look that I wanted and that I was looking for without it being my typical line art style. And then, as I said, I did more drawings uh, throughout this week utilizing these markers. Um, and just looking over the sketches, there they are, the little guy, and then some of the drawings that I did trying how I liked shading and uh, utilizing line art color. I used some other kind of markers for a lot of these to make the line art, and then some of them were more lineless, but in general they were super fun to work with and I really really liked them. So yeah, in conclusion, I really liked these products. They were really fun to use, great to use together, 
in, in like a mixed media way. They're great to use with other materials as well, just mixing them in, doing however you want. It's, it's a fun time. I really enjoyed it myself. Uh, and I am, I want to thank Artix for giving me the opportunity to actually review these products. That was super fun, and I hope that I can get a similar chance again sometime if they want to. But, yeah. Uh, in the description of this video, you will be able to find links to all the products on Amazon and their official website, and all of that fun stuff, so that if you are interested, you will be able to get these yourself. I had a lot of fun doing this. Thank you for being here. Have a good day, have a good night, whatever time it is, have a good time, and I'll see you guys in the next one.